You hold out your hand and God puts a $10 bill in your hand. And we are supposed to be content with this $10 bill. But so oftentimes we put out the other hand and say, Lord, that would be okay, but what if I could get another $10 bill? What if I just had a little more? See, God is saying, be satisfied with the 10 that you got. Contentment is you are not satisfied with what God has given to you. Hebrews 13.5 is very clear on the topic of contentment. It's, it's a profound verse. I, you, should, you should memorize this one. Listen to this. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Okay, let your manner of life, let the way you live, be without covetousness. And be content with such things as ye have. Be content with the ten dollars here. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. You know, there is never satisfaction in the life of a man who is not content. I would rather have little and be satisfied than have a lot and be discontented because when you have two hands that you're asking God for another ten, you're saying, how do I get another hand out there? Because you're never content with what he has already given you. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that this verse right here, for he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, should be enough to satisfy our weary souls. We should be satisfied with knowing that we have a God who loves us, saves us, secures us forever, and will never leave us nor forsake us. That should be enough. That's, we, should, we should have enough contentment from that alone to satisfy